So there's been a lot of job openings that happen out there in Florida. Um, they're saying right now they need at least up to a half a million people to come to Florida to help work some of those uh, construction jobs. Well, you have one of our brothers that's going to kind of, you know, talk about the history of what happened with a lot of construction jobs and how a lot of brothers got pushed out of those jobs. Let's go roll in. So y'all telling me there's a shortage on construction workers in America? Especially in Florida, y'all, some of y'all need almost a, half a million construction workers. And y'all don't have the time to train the new people. And oh, the white people, Europeans, they lazy, they don't do the work right. Oh, black people, uh, y'all ain't say nothing about the blacks. We been in construction, y'all kicked us out. They said, we're not paying these Negroes $25 an hour, $24 an hour, $30 an hour. Let's go hire these Mexicans with no documentation that's coming across the border, give them $9 an hour, $10 an hour. And they're gonna work sun up to sun down, dance and eat mangoes. Meanwhile, kick the black brothers out. I was doing construction for 10, 11 years, bro. I got, I went to school, I became a certified operator. I can operate every heavy equipment. I understand construction, I can read blueprints. But I left, I quit because they, Mexicans are racist. They don't want the brother on the machines. They rather see Jose or Rodriguez, a Mexican on it. And the Mexicans are racist. I'm in Texas and they are racist out here. They rather see Mexicans. Every construction you go to in Texas, nothing but Mexicans. If you black, if you are not Mexican, you black, you're gonna be holding a sign. Paying, paying you $12 to stand there holding a sign. When an operator like me advance, read blueprints, certified can operate they rather pay me $18 I'm not doing that. so now y'all talking about there's a shortage right so it's time for the blacks to come on back get their jobs back pay them the, the money and stop pocketing the while y'all paying the uh, immigration status on the document Mexicans $9 an hour $10 an hour and pocketing the rest y'all can't do that no more so these contractors are crying and now y'all you feel me now hey if i was you black brother i left i went to driving mostly all blacks in texas they uh if you black in texas they kicked us out the construction industry so now you're gonna find us driving or getting cdls that's what most brothers are doing but if that money come if this happened in texas i am going back to construction i ain't gonna lie because now y'all gotta pay y'all gotta pay the right amount of money you know what i mean like real talk, everywhere I went to construction, I'd be the only black dude, only black dude. Like, and then they don't want to see you operate to look like you know what you're doing. And I work hard. I work hard just as hard as these that's coming over here at the border. Facts. Now I do towing. Now I would tow your. You know what I mean? But that's what y'all get, and that's what you Mexicans get. So cry all you want, pay that money, man. I remember. You know, when I was growing up, if you could not find a job as a man, most people would say, hey, you know, go get your construction job. And I remember brothers was doing all the construction, you know, definitely in the 80s. I remember that. I uh, definitely remember seeing brothers doing construction definitely in the 90s. But there was a big change, and the brothers weren't doing the construction anymore. It was uh, Mexicans or different other Hispanics doing all the construction jobs. Now, this brother saying that, of course, we all knew that they hire them and they don't even pay them right. They hire them at a cheaper rate. Of course they're going to um, let go to black people because they have to pay the black people right. Black people know their worth and what the job should pay versus the people that came over here. And as I stated on uh, my podcast, some people come from countries where they're only earning two to $3 a day. So you go from two to $3 a day to a $9 an hour job, Man, you didn't you didn't hit the big time. You're grateful for that. You're happy. You you got money to send back home, you know, where you come from and all of that. So hell yeah, you go work uh 12 hours and be happy with, to work those 12 hours and you get money you never got in your life. You understand? So yes, the more and more people that bite in them, you know, just open the floodgates for, that has happened. Completely. And anyone that's in business and capitalists and all that. They're always going to try to pay low for labor because labor is one of your most expensive costs that you have in business. So if they can hire somebody at $9 versus paying somebody at 25, 
your, your job is gone in a minute. So y'all telling me there's a shortage on construction workers in America, especially in Florida. Y'all some of y'all need almost a, half a million construction workers and y'all don't have the time to train the new people and oh the white people europeans they lazy they don't do the work right oh black people uh y'all ain't say nothing about the blacks we been in construction y'all kicked us out they said we're not paying these negroes 25 dollars an hour 24 dollars an hour 30 dollars an hour let's go hire these mexicans with no documentation that's coming across the border give them nine dollars an hour ten dollars an hour and they're going to work sun up to sun down, dance and eat mangoes. Yes, I've also seen on some of these jobs, you know, just myself, how, yes, there are some racism that come in also from people from Latin America. But if you talk to brothers and sisters that live over there, they go through it all the time with a lot of racism and white supremacy there in Latin America. So when they come up here, do you think anything has changed? Now, I'm not saying all of that way, no. But you do have some that are that way. They, I talked about that before, how they try to sabotage brothers on these jobs and get them fired so they can bring in their uncle, their cousin, et cetera. Well, I know exactly what he's talking about. Like, it's not, nobody's on this, oh, we all the same and uh, let's work together. No, hey, no, because in their own countries, they have a lot of anti-black racism. As a matter of fact, black people are literally hidden in their countries. There are black people in every Latin American country, but they're not, do you, if you watch, their television, you watch a Telemundo, Univision, or whatever, you never see a black Latino. Just, just go, even if you don't understand Spanish, just go watch their news, go watch their commercials. I'm not saying if they show one here and there, I'm not talking about when they're dubbing an American commercial, I'm talking about just watch their news, watch anything that's presenting in their movies, etc. Even they don't like to show the indigenous people either, not just the black, but the indigenous people, you know, indigenous people as almost dark as me, those indigenous people, they don't like to show them either. They like to show the more white skinned ones on TV, etc. Do you remember all the controversy they had with Black Panther 2 and the uh, actor that played uh, Namor, how they were so pissed about him playing Namor. Now you would think they'd have been happy about it, like representation, right? But no, they was pissed because he was indigenous. That's what they were so pissed about, not looking whiter skinned. So when they come up here, some of them do come up here with those ways. Brother Zod, I was doing construction for 10, 11 years, bro. I got, I went to school, I became a certified operator. I can operate every heavy equipment. I understand construction, I can read blueprints. But I left, I quit because they, Mexicans are racist. They don't want the brother on the machines. They rather see Jose or Rodriguez, a Mexican on it. And the Mexicans are racist. I'm in Texas and they are racist out here. They rather see Mexicans. Every construction you go to in Texas, nothing but Mexicans. If you black, if you are not Mexican, you black, you're gonna be holding a sign. Paying, paying you $12 to stand there holding a sign. So yes, I know exactly what he's talking about. But they're gonna have to pay. They definitely gonna have to pay those the right wages, because white folks sure are not gonna take those jobs and not get paid right. And black folks not either. And don't you dare uh, go down on, on what you know the job is worth. Now, with him saying if they do that in Texas, <laughs> whoo, I seriously doubt they do that in Texas, boy. I mean, this, boy, that would literally almost crash the economy, literally, if they do that here in Texas. Because there's way too many here. Way too many. They've been flooding Texas for years, and they still flood in Texas. I mean, any border state like that, because they even on the border towns, if they just stay in the border towns, they don't have to know a lick of English. They can just speak Spanish and be good down there in the border towns of Texas, right? So I, I seriously doubt, I'll be shocked if the Republicans do uh, here in Texas what DeSantis did in Florida. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what this brother is saying. You know, do, are you some of you brothers? Want those construction jobs? Or, or you want to say, hey, let them eat cake, let, let the uh, folks that say they built America, we, and you know we ain't talking about us, we talking about them folks. He said, let them go show us how it's done, but let me know.